Hey guys, welcome back. Steve Buckenroff here. Every year, when the DPEs of our local FISDO get together, we get asked, what are the difficult areas that we see maybe more than once or over and over? I would say that it's always the same answer. It's crosswind landings. And that occurs for a few reasons. One, schools sometimes set limits on the crosswinds that are pretty tight, and I understand why they do. They've got expensive airplanes and they've got insurance companies that, that uh, demand limits as to where they're gonna let people fly in crosswinds. The flip side is if we don't find a way to push into the, those crosswinds closer to a crosswind limit, we never really quite understand how to do it. So let me see if I can shed a little light on what may help you with crosswind landings. First off, when we do a crosswind landing, there's really two ways we can come down final. We can come down final in a crab where we literally crab the aircraft into the wind. Remember, this is nothing more than a heading change. It's a heading change to track the center line. We're not holding aileron, we're not holding rudder. It is a coordinated heading change to track that center line. Of course, if the wind is coming from this way, we're going to crab into the wind and we're going to try to track the center line. Now, we can't land that way. We could, but we're probably going to break something. If we land that way, we're going to be landing with a side load, and that's not going to be any good. That's going to maybe break things on the airplane. So before we land, if we're crabbing down final, we need to straighten the longitudinal axis. And we do that with rudder. Imagine an extended line right here, and we're gonna straighten that extended line with rudder. So the first thing we do as we come on down here is we start applying rudder. We apply rudder to straighten the longitudinal axis and align it with the center of the runway. But if I don't put my wing down, I'm gonna get blown this way across the center line. So when we crab down final, we are crabbing into the wind in a coordinated manner. But when we land, we're gonna put in left rudder and right wing down to hold that a little bit for the right crosswind. Obviously, if it's a left crosswind, we're gonna crab down final and then we're gonna put in right rudder to line the longitudinal axis. And then of course, we're gonna drop that left wing down so we can land. How much rudder we put in is strictly a function of aligning the nose. Get your rudder in first and align that longitudinal axis. How much wing we put down depends on if we're moving left, not moving or moving right. So. So aileron is all about left and right. Rudder is all about aligning the longitudinal axis. So first method, crab, put in the rudder, drop the wing, and move on into the flare. That would be a crab transitioning to a side slope. The second method, well, that's where we might just side slip all the way down. Side slipping all the way down, which is, is also known as the wing low method, all the way down. Now, where people oftentimes have problem is in the flare. So let's say I've crabbed down, did my, and I, I crabbed down, I did my side slip, I lined my longitudinal axis, I dropped my wing down, and now I'm into the flare. Well, let's look at what happens when we pull power. If we pull power right now, we removed torque from the airplane, and the, and the nose wants to go right. And if the crosswind is from the right, it wants to align itself into the wind. So right crosswinds are harder than left crosswinds. We pull power, we remove torque, it goes right. It also wants to align in the wind as the wind pushes against the, the vertical fin of the airplane. Now, if I have a left crosswind, when I come in, 
and flare and pull power. The removal of torque lets me start to go right. But the wind hitting the vertical stabilizer, the vertical fin, caused me to go left. So left crosswinds are easier than right crosswinds. Let's summarize. We crab, we align the longitudinal axis with rudder, we drop the wing as needed, and then we flare. If it's a left wind, a left crosswind, it wants to go left into the wind, it wants to go right as we move torque. If it's a right crosswind, it wants to go right into the wind, and it wants to go right because we've removed torque. I hope this helps. Have a great day.